Yeah. Troopers Corrigan, King, and Terhune reporting, sir. At ease. Orders from General Headquarters. Affecting Privates Corrigan, King, and Terhune, 5th United States Cavalry. Are we in bad? The aforementioned privates are to be mustered out of the army and assigned to special duty in Wyoming, as herein explained. Now, wait a minute, Captain. We just got in the oh, army. but you can't do that to us. Attention! Now, this isn't my idea, but GHQ feel that you would be of more service to the country out of the army than in it. Say, Corrigan, you know that North Butte, Wyoming country, don't you? Yes, sir. I was born there and went to school there, sir. That's the reason you were chosen. Now, according to this telegram, the government is depending on that vast territory to provide them with thousands of head of cattle to feed the army. It's vital that they get them, and immediately. You mean they want us to buy cattle? No. But they want you to make it possible for others to buy them. You see, the trouble is rustlers. You mean American citizens rustling their own army's cattle? Presumably. Unfortunately, there are men that take that kind of an advantage of a national emergency. Here, this telegram explains everything. Well, I... I guess that's the verdict, fellas. Yeah, I suppose so. Only we've been filling in for peace officers so long, we could stand a nice quiet war for a change. Shucks. There goes my first and last chance to have my picture took in uniform. I'm telling you boys, Wyoming's gonna be rolling in wealth because of the government contracts. And so are we. Well, we're getting a pretty good start in that direction. Changed near a thousand brands yesterday. Now, that's just the beginning. Don't forget, there's more than one way to skin a cat. stage held up, express messenger killed. $30,000 government money lost to bold bandits, cash for army cattle stolen. Cattle rustlers on rampage, Wyoming cattlemen up in arms. I'll bet you a yen to a kopeck those stage robbers and rustlers both belong to the same outfit, playing both ends against the middle. And you want me to send you down there to prove it? Don't send me, let me. Now listen, Jane, I want you to be sensible, calm down. I can't send you out on an assignment like that. It's a man's job. Sure, but what man have you got left here big enough to break a story like that? With Hamilton in Cuba and Jackson stuck in Washington, all you've got left here are a lot of old women and an office boy. <laughs> well, you don't expect to send Blake peddling down to Wyoming to hunt outlaws on his bicycle, do you? Not hardly. Look, Chief, I'm a natural. I wasn't reared in this country for nothing. When I say reared, I mean on the back of a bucking bronco ever since I was 10. I know all about that, but I've then got... Then for heaven's sakes, give me the assignment. Let me go down there. Let, oh, let Jimmy have the society section. <laughs> now I'm promising you the biggest scoop in the country if you only give me the chance to go after it and you sit there laughing at me. <laughs> oh! Home, home on the range. Where the deer and the antelope play. We'll be there soon. <laughs> See that rock there, fellas? Yeah? What about it? Well, that's an old landmark, about three miles from North Butte. We used to paint our initials on that rock. Let's ride over and have a look, huh? See, fellas, you can still read them, even if they are a little dim. <laughs> There's J.D., S.L., H.F.B., oh, good old Hank. And there's mine, C.C. C.C.? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know they called you Crash that far back. Crash, nothing. Why, that C stands for Chipmunk. Chipmunk? That's me. That was my nickname in the Kid Carson Trappers Club. And we had a password, too. What was it? Yeah? Well, you start off in the... Well? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, nah, I couldn't tell you, fellas. <laughs> oh, come on, Craig. Oh, no. Oh, right. come on, Craig. Tell us, will you? Come on now. Oh, what? Oh, well. All right. You, uh... Whoa! 
Who? Say, I'll bet you they called you Chipmunk because you ate acorns. Oh, no, it wasn't nothing like that. When we were initiated into the club, everybody had to go out and catch a wild animal. And all I could get was a chipmunk. Huh. Those were the good old days. Oh, I wonder what's happened to all the kids. Seems to me like the best way to find out would be to mosey over to North View. Yeah, I reckon so. Well, let's go, huh? Hey, not so fast there, chipmunk. Remember, this ain't no social call. Well, I reckon we'd better separate and you fellas look around a bit and I'll go over to this Wyoming cattle company and make out I'm a cowhand looking for a job. Okay, we'll drift in later. Wahoo! 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 Just a minute. Wahoo, chipmunk! Wahoo. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. Weasel! Huh? Little, a little weasel miller? Oh, no. You mean that little puny kid that I saved out of the old swimming hole? That's right. Gee, I'm sure <laughs> glad to see you. Hey, it's good to see you, Chipmunk. <laughs> oh, oh, my, are you filled out. <laughs> Tell me, what brings you back to North Butte after all these years? Well, I came here looking for a job. Say, can you get me in to see the boss? You are in. I am? You mean to say that... That uh, uh, I'm the boss of this outfit? That's right. In fact, uh, I am the outfit. Oh, come now, Chipmunk. Don't take it so hard. Here, sit down. Oh, say, I'm sure glad to see it. You're getting along so well. Why, this, this is just a beginning. Before I'm through here, a lot of people that used to laugh at me are going to change their tune. Oh, now, Weasel, nobody ever laughed at you. You know they did, Chipmunk. Every last one of them, except you. I guess you were about the only one in town here that figured I was worth being saved from drowning. Oh, I've never forgotten you for that. Come on, let's have a drink of it. Oh, no thanks. Say, uh, you know, I'd much rather have a cup of coffee and a nice thick steak. That would really hit the spot. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? The little place down the street isn't so bad. No, that's fine. Here, here's an order for all you can eat. Oh, no, wait a minute. I got money. I don't oh, yeah, that's all right. It's on the house. I own the place. Here, take it. Well, thanks. And, uh, oh, and by the way, Chipmunk, I, uh, I wouldn't try to hold hands with a little waitress if I were you. Oh, Weasel, you ought to know me better than that. <laughs> Say, tell me. Is she pretty? You bet. That's why I hired her. She draws trade the way the place used to draw flies. But I'm warning you, she's as smart as a whip. Nobody's ever even been able to talk her into a buggy ride yet. <laughs> I'll just make you a bet that I date her real pronto. Oh, that sounds like easy money. Suppose we make it $2. <laughs> That's the bet. All right. <laughs> so long. Do you know who that fellow was that just left here? You bet I do. Name of Corrigan? That's right. You know him? I ought to. He was responsible for me and Rick serving time down in Arizona. He... How do you mean? Did you ever hear of the Range Busters? Why, sure. Well, your friend is one of that outfit. Are you absolutely sure? I just told you why. Funny, I never connected that Corrigan with Chipmunk. Who? Or just a nickname I used to know him by. Mm, what was he doing here? Asking for a job. Oh, don't worry. A job he's going to get isn't what he expects. I'm going to plant him right under my eyes. You and Rick's all set for that job in the morning? Yeah, that's why I came in, to make sure the herds were on the move. Well, they are. Now, you better get out of town before Corrigan sees you. That's what I aim to do.
Oh, miss, uh, can I have some more coffee? You know, it occurred to me that seeing as you and I are strangers around here, that uh, maybe you and I might take in the sights together. Here's your coffee. Oh, thanks. Well, folks say there's a waterfall about four or five miles south of here. It's just about the prettiest in all Wyoming. I don't know about it being the prettiest, but it certainly must be the most popular. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and yours makes thirteen. <coughs> That's thirteen invitations to visit North Butte's waterfall in less than a week. Uh, you're not superstitious, are you? No, I'm... Uh, fine, I'll put you down as thirteen on the waiting list. Yes, I wished you would. Oh, that ring. What about it? Why, that looks exactly like one my mother used to wear. That's another old one, too. Oh, I get it. Would you mind letting me see that ring while uh, you cut yourself another notch? <laughs> All right. Ah. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, now look, suppose I dig up a new waterfall somewhere. Maybe even a chaperone. Would you then? No. Could I have my ring now? Oh, 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 sure. Sure. Ah, <clears throat> uh, now, as I was saying... <laughs> Wait it, a uh, minute, I'm perfectly well, able to... Hold oh, oh, on let me... there, partner. Seems to me like you're kind of annoying that there young lady. Maybe that's allowed in Wyoming, but where I hail from, we're a heap more particular about how we treat our women folk. Now just you say the word, ma'am, and I'll have this hombre hitting the trail in no time. No time at all. No, please. He's really an old friend of mine, you know. We were just having a little argument. Well, I'm mighty sorry, ma'am. Mighty, mighty sorry. I reckon I could be wrong. <clears throat> but if you ask me, this vulture don't look like fit company for a pack of low-down coyotes. That shooting clock, stranger. Don't, please! Well, all right. As you say, ma'am. As you say. Now, uh, if you don't want to go see the waterfall, We'll just watch the sun rise over the buttes. How will we go? A foot, buggy, or horseback? Why, uh... Horseback. Horseback. Well, that's fine. That's just dandy, and I'll be seeing you the first thing in the morning. Well, I reckon I better be going, ma'am. <laughs> Seems like I've butted in too far already. <laughs> But if, as you say, this Maverick is an old friend of yours, why, uh, he must be all right. Do you know anything about him? No, not for sure, but if he's who I think he is... Hey, what's I... happened to your voice? It sounded different before. Huh? Oh, oh, oh that, oh. Well, that was nothing. That was just my protecting voice. Well, goodbye, ma'am. Bye. Sounds more like a disguise to me. Dear Chief, things are breaking. A stranger, with all the earmarks of a bandit, arrived in town today. A little later, another stranger came in, apparently a government man on his trail. I expect I can get some more information from this bandit, so I am going riding with him tomorrow. Well, I didn't know our stakes were that good. Oh, everything's taken care of, including that waitress and uh, that bet that I'm going to win from you. Uh-huh. When? Oh, I'm taking her out riding tomorrow morning. We're going out to the Buttes. Uh, look, Chipmunk, do you have to go out there? Well, she wouldn't go for the waterfall. Is there anything the matter with the Buttes? Oh, no, no, except uh, you've got to be back early to report for work. You're the new manager of my hotel. Oh, but I don't know anything about running a hotel. Well, starting tomorrow morning, you'll learn how. Listen, Chipmunk, a fellow manages to lift his feet off the ground when he gets into a saddle, but he never gets any higher. That's why the woods are full of cowhands, but doggone shy of the hotel managers.
this is a fine how do you do, isn't it, Elmer? If you're asking me to whom, it's more of a fine what are you going to do. The longer it takes us to chase these hombres, the longer it's going to take us to get back into the army. Well, I know that, Elmer. But we can't do anything until Crash and Dusty come back and make a report. About what? The female population of North Butte at the last census? Well, maybe you're right, Elmer. Maybe we ought to do a little snooping of our own. Come on. Hold on there, partner. It might be a good idea to decide what we're going to snoop. Well, for one thing, we ought to find out something about those stage robbers who took that $30,000 of government money. Right. And who'd know about that if anybody did? Well, a stagecoach driver, I reckon. Right. Then I guess he's the first one that's going to be snooped. Right. No, left behind. Howdy, partner. Are you the stage driver? Yep. You going out today? Tomorrow. I hear you had to run in on some stage robbers a while back. Yep. Lots of shooting, they say. Lots. Anybody get shot? Messenger. Bad? Dead. Oh. Well, that's not so good for your record, is it? Losing a messenger in a strong box? Nope. Well, uh, I wouldn't have minded half, but I know we were carrying all that cash. We might have been better prepared. But as it was, we figured about the most valuable cargo we were toting was a pair of pearl button shoes for Mrs. Thompson's girl, Helen. Well, who's this money being sent to, and why didn't he tell you ahead of time? Darned if I know. Never did find out. Oh. What's your hurry, stranger? Where's the fire? Don't know. I thought it was here, but I guess it must be in Washington. I'll let you know if I find out. Do that. Somebody's got a young fortune tied up in those cattle. You know a lot about cattle, don't you? Oh, yes, ma'am. I ought to. I was practically raised with them. Say, uh, I reckon it's about time that you ought to be back to the lunchroom, isn't it? it? Certainly is. Come ahead. I wonder if you'd mind riding back alone. I suppose not. Why? Well, I'd like to ride ahead and get a little closer look at those cattle. That is, if you don't mind. Not at all. Go ahead and have your old look. Say, maybe next time we could ride on out to the waterfall, huh? Maybe. As soon as I give the word, start riding and shooting. Ricks and the other boys will be waiting at the pass to round up the stampeded cattle. Help! 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 Come on. Hands. We'll cut off the herd. Got time, boys. Looks like Rex has done the job. Now let's get out of here.
reach for that? I mean you no harm. Where are you? Oh, never mind that. Are you hurt bad? Oh, I was lucky. I guess they only scratched me. I guess the fall hurt me more than the bullet did. What happened? Well, all of my boys were starting up to Casper with some cows, and a gang of rustlers surprised us. Say, ain't you that new hotel manager of Miller's? Hell, oh, that's right, but we're going to have to get into town and get some help for the rest of these wounded. Say, any idea who the rustlers were? Oh, it's probably that same bunch that's been making so much trouble in these parts lately. They seem to find out everything, and they ain't afraid of nobody, not even the United States government. Oh, calm yourself, partner. The United States government has ways of finding out things, and they're not going to let a bunch of two-bit cow thieves scare them. Now, come on, let's try and get into town, huh? That's it. Morning. Aren't you supposed to go riding with Mr. Corrigan? Why, yes, but how did you know? Oh, he just happened to mention it. But I didn't expect you back so soon. Neither did I. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised I wasn't back sooner. Uh, jilted? I don't know whether you'd call it that or not. <laughs> it certainly was abrupt. You mean he left you flat? Well, uh, where is he now? Out by the buttes, communing with nature and a lot of smelly old cows. Oh. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to do. There's been a big cattle raid out past the butte. How'd you find out? I got there right after it happened, and the cow hands are all but wiped out. Give Bob Brown a hand here, boys. You all right, Bill? Well, lost a little blood, but outside of that, I reckon I'll do. We'll have to get a wagon as close as we can to the buttes. What good will a wagon do? To bring in the wounded. We'll carry them as far as the road. All right. Slim, hurry over to the stable. Tell them they can use my span and buckboard. Sure. Slim, there's a wagon of mine they can use over there, too. What were you doing out there? Well, it just happened I had to ride out and give my boys some new orders. Your boys? Why, sure, it was my stock they rustled. Stock intended for you. But my company was taking delivery at Casper and shipping them east. Now what'll I do? Lock up the corral after the cows have gone, like we always do. What's the matter with us cattlemen? How long are we going to stand for this? By the time the government steps in, we'll be poor men. Why don't we do something about it and do it now? Going to be fussy enough right here to go after them. Ah, it's too late for that, boys. From what I saw, they were headed in the Jackson Hole country. With a setup like that, they could hold off a dozen posses. Now, the way I see it... I still say... If he'd taken me along, I might have found out something so we wouldn't belittle ourselves right into Washington. Maybe so, but that's the only way we could find out who that money was being sent to. Once we know that, we've got our finger on the hombre that tipped off the robbers. Well, ain't that what I've been saying to you right along? Well, get going on that telegram then. There's no need to holler, Elmer. I got no moss growing my ears. T. L. Jameson, War Department, Washington, tonight, May 8th, at the Town Hall Victory Dance to celebrate Dewey's victory at Manila. Entire proceeds for our boys in camp. Come one, come all. Where are you going? Oh, uh, just out. You mean you're leaving the hotel here all by itself? Why, sure, unless you want to stay here and keep it company. Hmm. Well, maybe I will at that. Uh-oh. So that's it. Oh, no, you don't, Corrigan. It says, come one, come all. If you boys want anything else, you'd better tell me now. I'm closing in a few minutes to go to the dance. Would you like to go with me? May I take you to the dance? <laughs> oh, it seems like we both want to take you to the dance, doesn't it? <laughs> I'd love to go with both of you. I'll be ready in a minute. Well, that's fine. I'll say it is. Say, Crash, 
Did I ever show you this trick? Oh, tricks. No, come on, look. Oh, that's pretty good. Say, how'd you do that? Well, it's simple. I'll show you. Wrong cup. Now look what you've done. Why can't you be more careful? Now I can't go to the dance. Oh. Where are you going, Mr. Clark? I thought you and Mr. King were taking me to the dance. Well, I was, but I had an accident. Coffee. Well, that's all right. Just ring it out for breakfast. <laughs> oh, I'd like to wring your neck. You know I can't go this way. <laughs> what on earth's the matter with him? <laughs> the search me. <laughs> well, then, may I? <laughs> We ought to be getting an astronaut telegram soon. Not if we hang around here, we won't. Let's go down to the desk. If it ain't there, we'll go to the telegraph office. Well, there it is now, under the door. Well, I always thought seeing was believing, Elmer. But this throws me a way off. Well, don't sit there with your jaw half mast. What does it say? The money in the strong box was consigned to Jeff Miller of North Butte. Signed, Jameson. Then Miller's your man, since he's the only one that knew about it. Well, it sort of looks that way. What do we do now? We can't do anything till we get something on him, such as looking at some figures in his account book. Why, Elmer Sneezeweed. Are you suggesting that I break into Mr. Miller's office like a common thief? Do I have to suggest? <laughs> well, since you put it that way, I guess I will. Come on. Here, you keep this. What are you doing here? I thought you were going to dance. Oh, I was, but I had to come back on account of a dirty trick Dusty pulled on me. <laughs> you boys will have your fun, won't you? <laughs> Say, can I leave Elmer here a while? Oh, sure. Where do you go? Oh, just walking. Walking? Oh, I didn't know you went in for walking. Oh, yeah, nothing like it. You young fellas ought to try it sometime. Sure, I will. So long. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. Take you away from the dance, boss. Uh, that's all right. Here, sit down. Well, is everything going according to schedule? Yep, so far. Good. Now, how soon will you and Stark be ready to move some cattle? Right away. There's a couple of thousand heads that ought to be safe enough to move. Uh-huh. How do the change brands look? All healed up. Slick as a whistle. Fine. You better bunk here tonight and get going first thing in the morning. I'm going back to that. Good night. Good night, boss. Cabin 
that I just happened to find by a mountain stream. I'll let the whole world go by if you'll just be my little lady in the cabin of my dream. You know, Mr. King, out in Denver we have a singing policeman. Oh, was well, that so? And down in Hobart County they have a singing sheriff. Good? Yes, pretty. I was wondering if singing didn't just sort of come natural to all peace officers. Where'd you get that idea? Mm, I'm not blind. You're mighty blind if you think I'm a detective. Next to a flat-footed ant, I think of the lowest thing alive. Why, Mr. King? Well, you don't know. You never had kin folks hounded by them, never given them a chance. Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. I must have forgotten myself. I haven't anything personal against detectives, that really personal. <laughs> of course not. I, I know you haven't. Uh, don't you think we'd better go now? I just remembered I have a letter to write before I go to bed. Oh. All right. Dear Chief, I think I've been trailing the wrong man. Looks like my bandit leader is the detective and the one I thought a detective is really the bandit. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Clumsy, I suppose you want your coffee back so you can have it for breakfast. No, thanks. Have you seen Alibi? Late last night, why? Well, I didn't care him come in. And his bed hasn't been slept in. I'm just kind of worried. What did he say when you saw him? Oh, nothing except that he was going out for a walk. Going out for a walk? Alibi? Yeah. No. He must have been up to something. Is that all he said? Yeah, except that he asked me to take care of Elmer. It doesn't sound right to me. I think I'll mosey down to the stable and see if his horse is there. I'll go with you. Hey, wait a minute, Crash. That looks like the fellow we helped land in jail once. What's his name? Uh, Rex. Yeah, that's that right. sure looks like him. I wonder what he's doing here. Gee, I hope he doesn't meet up with Alibi or there really will be trouble. Remember what happened up north? Well, supposing he already met up with Alibi. Last night, maybe. Yeah, I see what you mean. Maybe I ought to follow Mr. Ricks a piece. You stick around and see what you can find out. I almost have to. I'm stuck with this hotel job. A pretty pass I've come to. A cowboy bellhop.
All right. Well, tan my hide. So you've been trailing me, huh? Well, who put you up to it? Why, nobody. I... Well, that I got... know. It was Miller. That's why he's got you staked out in his eating house, so you can... No, honest. I was just... Well, come on. We gotta be moving. Where are we going? After I pick up my horse, I'm gonna take you up there to that cabin up there in the rocks. And I'm gonna lock you up all safe and sound so you won't be getting in the way of my job. You understand? Well, come on. Well, it's a nice little dream castle. You ought to be very comfortable here. Just make yourself at home. I thought you said folks were particular about their women where you came from. Sure. But the women are a little bit particular about themselves, too. Are you leaving me here to starve? I don't know. But I'll decide that as soon as I finish what I started out to do. Good day. Start. He rode out about an hour ago to make sure on the stock was straying. Well, you boys better get your horses and start rounding up the cattle. Miller wants us to start for Casper with as many as we can move. Which way are we going to take them? Out past North Butte. And he said to bring along some horses. doing here? Uh, hello. I was afraid for a minute you were that cattle rustler. What cattle rustler? The one that locked me in here a little while ago. He didn't like it because I was following him. Yeah? Well, how'd you know he was a rustler? Well, as a matter of fact, at first I thought he was a government officer. But when I saw how interested he was in Mr. Miller and how many cattle he had and where he ranged them, I sensed he had designs. Well, it does sound that way. Why'd you take it on yourself to follow him? Well, Mr. Miller had been kind enough to give me a job, and and I thought he'd appreciate it if I found out who was raiding his cattle. Yeah, I have a notion you would. Look, you get back to town pronto and tell Mr. Miller what happened. Tell him you put Jim Stark, that's me, on the trail of this here rustler. Come on. Yes.
Get up. Yeah, I think we had the pleasure of meeting once before. Well, if we did, it was no pleasure, believe me. We did all right, down the Indian Territory. But I ain't holding the year I spent in prison again, you, as much as your partner, Corrigan. Well, I see you got him. Well, if it isn't Mr. King. Yeah, fancy meeting me here. Maybe you range busters should have stayed out of this part of the country. It looks like you're going to be here for a long time. If you ain't a notion of answering our questions now, we might as well let you think it over for a while. Some of the boys still cooped up in Leavenworth would get a big laugh if they could see you now. Come on, we gotta be in calling distance to town before night. Ed, you stay here and watch the shack till we get the cows to town and have a talk with Miller. Okay. good for you. Come on out and don't try any monkey business. Hurry up. If you're not out by the time I count ten, I'm going to start shooting. One, two, three, four, five. Now that's better. Come on out. Hume go to last night. Oh, I get it. Secrets, huh? Well, all right then. Behind the counter you go. Miller. Oh. Oh, it can't be. The weasel? That's what it says here. An alibi must have gone over there. 
Thanks, pal. And when this blows over, remind me to buy you a brand new can of varnish. Where's the cattle? We left them in the corral outside of town. You have any trouble? Well, I had a few words with one of them range busters. Who, Corrigan? No, King. I wish it had been Corrigan. I've got an old score to settle with that, hombre. Hey, it looks like you're going to get your chance. Here he comes now. Hey, put that gun away, Stark. Are you crazy? You men get in the room over there till I find out what he wants. Hurry up now, come on. Here's your hotel keys. What's the matter, Chipmunk? Do you figure I'm not paying you enough? Too much, until I'm more certain where your money's coming from. My money? What are you driving at? In the first place, about those cattle that were raided a short time back. You're one of the few persons that knew they were being driven out past the buttes. Oh, now, you don't think I'd do a thing like that, do you, Chipmunk? I hope not. Just like I hope you wouldn't be responsible for robbing a stage on which you knew that there was $30,000. But how could I know that? Well, you must have. This telegram says it was intended for stock that you bargained to sell. Well, all right, suppose I did know about the money. That doesn't prove anything, does it? Well, maybe not, but I didn't want you to think I'd do anything behind your back. That's why I came over here to tell you. But if it does prove anything, I'm going to turn you in, Weasel. Better do it now, Frank. Frank, stop! Get him in! Come on! back for the time I spent in prison. I just saved your life, Corrigan. That makes us even up. From now on, you're on your own. Much obliged. The same goes for you and no hard feelings. What's up with you in the front, sir? What's the matter, huh? One of my cowhands got too fast on the trigger. He just recognized the cattle thief that tried raiding my stock a few nights back. I have a notion that some real fireworks are about to break loose. There's not time to worry about your baggage now. Get out. Come on, lad. We don't want anybody to get hurt here. Chipmunk saved my life once. I had to give him that much of a break. That's more of a break than any other rustler ever got in Wyoming. Come on and get him. Ah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But today we better let the law take its course? Yeah, range law. At the end of a rope. Hold on a minute, Jeff. Didn't I just hear you say he saved your life once? Why, yes. And didn't I just hear you call him Chipmunk? Yes, I suppose so. So that's who he is, Chipmunk Corrigan. I thought there was something familiar about him. Call your men off, Jeff. You gotta give him a chance to defend himself in a court of law. I'm sorry, Bill, but it's out of my hands. That's right. If you ain't with us, Brown, get moving or you're liable to get hurt, too. I see. I'm moving. I don't want any part of this dirty business. Let's get it over with, boys. Quick. Everybody get your horses off the street. As soon as you're ready, give the signal. Oh, it looks like they got the whole town worked up against us. There's an hombre over there getting a the rope off of his saddle. I'll get out back and see the doors are locked tight up. Mess up them are headed that way. Next to me, what do you got? About. Miller and his men are trying to take the law into their own hands. They claim they got a couple of cattle thieves cornered in the hotel. Cattle thieves? Who are they? That hombre with a dummy and Chipmunk Corrigan, but I got my own ideas. I'm going to round up some of the ranchers. We haven't got time for that. We got to act quick. We? Who are you, anyhow? Dusty King of the Range Busters, special investigator for the United States government. So the government did answer my request. Why are you two sidekicks? That's them in the hotel. Well, I might have known. But what'll I do? I haven't even got a gun on me. Well, we've got to do something. Well, there isn't much we can do with a strange gun and little ammunition. Hey, wait a minute. You remember that bunch of stock we saw corralled back up the road? Yeah. Come on, we gotta hurry. What are you gonna do? Follow me and I'll show you.
fire. Let's make a break through that upstairs window. We've got them or they've run out of ammunition. Come on, let's rush the building. That gentleman is who we are. Now, I have a notion we're going to be a little while separating Miller's outlaws from the rest. Bill, I'm going to ask you to give me a hand. Who's who here? Well, Luke here is all right, and Jim, he's one of Miller's men. I'm sorry it had to be you, Weasel. Our club had been mighty proud of you if you'd have gone ahead and been the biggest man in Wyoming, only using some other way. That's right. And before anybody could recover from the excitement, the Range Busters had the situation in hand. How's that for a scoop, Chief? Good. Don't forget to get some pictures of them. Well, gee, I'm sorry I forgot my Kodak, but I'll have the boys go into Casper with me and have their pictures taken. Let's see, what pose should we have? Why don't you group them while I arrange the plates? All right. Dusty, you sit down here. Like that. <laughs> Crash, stand right there. Uh, gee, Miss Jane, this sure makes me nervous. Now, Crash, Elvi, you and Elmer, right here. How would it be if Corrigan stood on his head, King sat in Terhoon's lap, and I sat in yours for a change? Why, Elmer, don't you think that would be undignified? Might be for them, but look at the fun you and I'd have. Okay, men, freeze into something ferocious. It's gonna be a long exposure. Hold your poses until I count eight. Get out your gun, boy. Now, smile and watch for the birdie. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. Thank you, boys. You look wonderful in the Sunday section. Don't bother to develop them. I'll take them up to Denver with me. Very well. Denver? Right now? This very minute. You know I'd love to stay, but I've got a job to finish, and that comes first. Goodbye, boys. Not a familiar talk, wasn't it, Alibi? Kind of sounds like one of your old lines, boys. We sure hate to go, ma'am. But we got a job to finish. Remember? Say, how about remembering the main two? Come on. Don't worry, Elmer. 
Something tells me the boys will go quietly this time, seeing as how they got to brush off from Jane. <laughs> it sure does my heart good to see somebody left behind by somebody else once for a change. <laughs> Are you two broken-hearted Casanovas ready for some real rough riding in Cuba? Yep, I reckon so. Well, you know what they say, fellas. All's fair in love and war. <laughs> right, partner. So let's get going before the war is over. <laughs> Where are we seeing you, folks?